All right, welcome back here to The Hill on News Nation. So can you tell somebody's political leaning based on what uh, thing along with it, what basically, can you tell their political leaning based on their face? That's, that's really the question. It turns out that artificial intelligence just might be able to do that. Researchers have created a facial recognition tool that can identify conservatives and liberals based on only tiny nuances in people's faces, and it has a hit rate of roughly 70%. The AI found that liberals tend to have, get this, smaller, lower faces, while conservatives have larger, wider faces. <laughs> Joining us now is the study's lead author, Dr. Michael Kaczynski. He is an associate professor of organizational behavior at Stanford's Graduate School of Business. Dr. Kaczynski, thanks for being with us here on The Hill. Appreciate it. Um, so I, I want to start off by showing the images. You know them, but let's put them up on the screen. Of Basically, they're, they're super close. But on the left is conservative, and on the right is liberal, and AI is able to tell by the tiniest margins. Explain how this is possible. And it turns out that not only AI, but also humans can distinguish between those uh, two images. So, as you mentioned, there are some differences that we can interpret, like uh, the width of the face. But there are thousands of other differences in our faces. It's just that we humans while we can perceive them, because we can make a distinction, we cannot really explain how we are making this decision. The same applies to AI. Mm. Those very complex neural networks can distinguish between liberals and conservatives with the same accuracy as, as humans can, and yet it's just difficult to tell what particular features but, they're picking but what on. But what is it about the face, right? Because if we talk about I don't know, the First Amendment or abortion, I can probably tell you spot on if you're a conservative or a liberal. But what is it about certain aspects of the face that AI is able to pick up and detect and say, oh, that means they're lean left, oh, that means they lean right? Well, it's absolutely unsurprising that our appearance and our facial appearance in particular should be related to our psychological traits, such as political views. First of all, what we look like changes how people treat us. And when people treat us differently across uh, your lifetime, this will change your political orientation. For example, attractive people are treated very differently from those of us that are not that fortunate to have attractive faces. Attractive people receive better salaries, better grades. They are promoted more easily. They win elections more easily. And this, of course, over the lifetime, is going to affect their facial features. But there's just so much, uh, so many, many other mechanisms out there. Like uh, your political Do orientation is affecting how you're spending your free time. And how you spend your free time, whether you so do it, you know, sitting somewhere in a basement or uh, shooting ducks uh, outside, is also going to affect your facial appearance. Do, do, do you think we're going to get to a point where AI can be at a 100% at hit rate or, or pretty darn close to it? Well, 100% is unachievable. People, you right. know, sometimes I mean, change say in the unexpectedly their political orientation. But we're definitely observing AI becoming more and more accurate at predicting our intimate traits. Sometimes, even before we ourselves know that we have a particular trait or a particular view. So let, let's take this out of politics for a second, uh, doctor. Because now it can basically, t you know, at a 70% 70, 70 rate, if you're lean left or lean right. Uh, here's an example I was thinking about today, for example. Are we going to get to a point where you walk into a restaurant and if there's facial recognition technology or AI, they'll know if I want steak or if I want salad or if I want, you know, fish or meat or whatever? Like, are we going to get there at some point? <laughs> well, a good waiter can do it this day, to already today. <laughs> it turns out that people who like steaks and big desserts look slightly differently from people who like salad. And good waiters, experienced waiters, can usually very well tell the difference. And so, in, in some ways, this is nothing new and it's nothing magical. It's just that AI technology can achieve accuracy that is unthinkable for humans. And also, you can deploy it very cheaply on a massive scale, which creates right. huge risks. You know, a person can judge, you know, few people a minute or few people per hour. Uh, artificial algorithm can be unleashed on yeah. billions or millions of pictures uh, obtained from social media or the database of right. passports, uh, passport pictures. Dr. Kaczynski from Stanford University, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for your time, sir. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Yep. Have a great day. Have a great weekend, sir. Uh
Thank you for watching and make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.